Hi everybody, this is Ricky Rockets Legend Tripping, and this is the year-end roundup for 2021. 2021 was a challenging year for everyone, mainly because of COVID. There was a tour planned, as many of you know, and COVID stomped that idea out. But I really think that we will get out there next spring and summer. I had planned on visiting uh, some of the most famous places in the United States and maybe even Canada for urban legends, some of the scariest places. Because I always ask the question, every town has an urban legend, what's yours? Having my traveling plans derailed didn't stop me from looking deeper into the urban legends, ghost stories and spooky tales here in Southern California. Some subjects are globally universal that I covered like werewolves and stuff like that. Some of my topics are also places that are local to me. Along Along with these videos, I also launched a big bore off-road motorcycle channel called Dirtbaggers. So make sure to have a look at that if you like motorcycles, especially if you like off-road bikes and adventure bikes. But one thing to keep in mind is how I approach all these subjects. My goal is to look at all the topics of superstition and the places that supposedly house that superstition. My approach is simple. First, I listen to the story. No preconceived idea if it's true or not. I take the attitude that anything can happen, and that anything can exist. Otherwise, you're just a hammer looking for a nail. After I know the lore, I look for the underlying story. What's left behind? Who's witnessed this stuff? Who reported it? How was it reported? Is it newspaper articles? What is historical fact about it? Now, let me say something. History is only as good as it was reported. We all know that history is many times far from an exacting type of literature, but it's sometimes all we have. Urban legends come from somewhere. Sometimes it's baked into true crime and other times it's simply man-made fabrication. But I've found that most urban legends are a mixture of both and finding the missing tie in between the truth and the lore is the diamond we might all be looking for, at least me. So without further ado, here's a roundup of the top urban legends and spooky stories that I covered in 2021. I started the year off with Tony Alamo and the Pastor of Evil on January 25th, 2021. Tony Alamo was a street preacher. Susan Alamo was a failed actress and together they formed the Tony Alamo Christian Church. And in the end, Tony was sentenced to 175 years in jail for some of the most insane perversions of humanity that was dressed up as Christian values. I go to that church, one of them, there was two of them, I go to the one that was here in Southern California and talk about that in the Tony Alamo Christian Church, the Minister of Evil. January 29, 2021, I found a dead end street and went into the area and there were caves and all kinds of stuff. But what I found out is that all along in that area were what were called dark watchers. And I was looking to see if there were any in there because the whole time I was there, I felt like somebody was watching me. And later in the year, I found out that that area is considered the center of the vortex of weirdness. So make sure to check this one out because I didn't know what I was doing yet. Now I have a better idea what that place represents. There was the abandoned missile base that I uploaded on February 20th, 2021. This base is full of old tales of the eminent war engagement. Today it's full of modern day graffiti and urban legend. Its crumbling buildings and underground spaces are full of haunted lore. I passed by the spooky oil rig house and on March 8th, 2021, I decided that I wanted to stop and look. I had been passing that place for quite a while, like I said, but it's the house that accompanies the rig that has always piqued my interest. I finally stopped and checked it out. And then I heard something. March 19th, 2021, I uploaded Creepy Turnbull Canyon. With a fatal plane crash, KKK meetings, Native American folklore, ghosts, UFOs, bodies being dumped, suicides, murders, and more, Turnbull Canyon has this reputation for being a cursed place. However, what I can prove and what is urban legend is a very blurred line. Check out Turnbull Canyon. 
I went back and explored the St. Francis Dam disaster by myself on my e-bike on March 23rd, 2021. This is my second video surrounding the St. Francis Dam. My whole first video delved into the whole flood disaster and the reported hauntings. This one is more of just urban exploration. And just to take a second look at it, if you didn't see the first video, make sure to check out the ghosts of St. Francis Dam, along with Lauren Parker from Taps West Coast. Sometime in April, I got a call from Lauren who said, you need to check out the cemetery dog park. And I thought, oh, is this pet cemetery? Actually, it's not. It's a cemetery memorial park that's a place where you can run your dog, have a picnic, and enjoy the Southern California sun on a blanket all while you were on top of over 2,000 buried human bodies. I wanted to know what happened here. When you find out, you might be as upset as some of the people that are relatives to those dead people. I've always been intrigued by Cropsey. On May 4th, 2021, I uploaded The Legend of Cropsey. It was all just spooky campfire stories until children started to disappear for real. Cropsey is an urban legend that turned true crime and made Staten Island into an asylum for a real-life boogeyman. In May, I decided to upload a video called Forbidden Places. I said, in an attempt to connect the disconnected, I seek forbidden places. And what I meant by that was, well, just watch the video. <laughs> June 2nd, 2021, I uploaded Urban exploration gear. If you want to do some urban exploration and you have no idea what to bring, I made a video to come up with what you need, like as far as backpacks, masks, gloves, cameras, footwear, and all that stuff. I have you covered. So if you want to know what to take on some of these uh, excursions, do some legend tripping knowing that you're protected. June 12th, 2021, I decided to upload and check out an area that has been intriguing to me for a very long time. And in this video, I actually got access to the place, which was huge. And who really haunts Mentoryville? The first successful oil strike in California was in Mentoryville in 1876. It's now a ghost town, and there are urban legends, a few mysterious deaths, and paranormal activity. So, I want you to take a tour inside some of the structures that were left and where so many people have gone years trying to dig things up and figure things out. Maybe we can find out really who haunts Mentoryville. If you know what a Dybbuk box is or a witch box, on June 29th, 2021, I used the Randonautica app and it led me to a, what I think is a Dybbuk box of some kind or a binding spell or a witch box or maybe it was just a hoax, or maybe it was just, I don't know, armchair superstition or whatever. But so I found this. I probably shouldn't have. A lot of people said you shouldn't have, but I brought it home and I opened it. My, my curiosity just got the best of me. On August 5th, 2021, I uploaded this video called Fountain of the Deadly Cult. There was a guy named Krishna Vena who started a religion cult in 1949, long before all the rage in the USA was cult. <laughs> they did many good deeds, actually, like fighting fires in the woods and helping stranded motorists, all while they were barefoot and bearded. A couple of disgruntled members lit a bomb many years later and changed the fountain of the world cult forever, along with the lives of the survivors. Definitely check this one out. The scary day I uploaded on August 12, 2021, I went by myself on the motorcycle. The Camarillo State Mental Hospital was at the forefront of treating conditions previously considered untreatable. One therapy was to have the patients care for animals at the dairy next door. However, with shock treatments and lobotomies and the site of several murders, both during and after the closing, more than one unfortunate patient has met their end at the mental hospital. Although little has been proven, legend has it that orderlies were sometimes the ones to blame. What is left of this paranormal paradise? Well, come along and check it out. I've been obsessed with Ouija boards in a lot of ways. I actually wrote a series of stories about Ouija boards. 
So Ouija, real or fake, on October 4th, 2021, I uploaded a video about it. The Ouija board has paradoxically been uh, considered both a tool of Satan and just a game. I call it one of the greatest urban legends ever. On October 9th, in my search for Ouija board information, I found a Ouija board on eBay that said this. New in factory, sealed box, vintage Ouija board, set number 600, Parker Brothers, 1972. I couldn't resist. I had to buy it. And then I opened it. It's over there. But watch the video. The Icons of Darkness exhibit. November 14, 2021. Icons of Darkness is a vulgar display of Hollywood's best horror props curated by director and actor, producer Rich Carell. And this is the prop collection to see if you love the horror genre. Make the pilgrimage, see this exhibit. It is badass. The Satanic Witch Nanny, December 21st, 2021. What happens when there are two urban legends that are almost exactly the same, but are in two different places? This is the premise of the Satanic Witch of Hangman's Canyon, which I don't know if it was true crime or just total true BS. As a side note, I believe that Wiccans need to be respected the same as any other religion in the United States, and they should not be persecuted verbally or for real by anybody. Lauren from TAPS called me up and said, look, we got to go do this. You got to come with me. I got to show you something. We found a voodoo hut. So on December 9th, 2021, we went to where there was a voodoo hut in the middle of the high desert. Or was it just a homeless person's creative crash pad? Or is it an evil lair? With the legends and tales of this being like I talked about in another video, the center of the vortex of weirdness, one has to wonder what the real story is. So me and my crew, with a couple of people, because I didn't want to go by myself, we went and investigated. Very close, but still inside the center of the vortex of weirdness, we also went to an abandoned gold mining house. I premiered that video on December 17th of this year. But what we found was this house that had it looked like a basic kind of house, but there were these tales of underground uh, tunnels where they smuggled gold so they wouldn't have to pay taxes back in the gold rush days. And I believe it. Uh, we didn't dig under the foundation of the house, but there were so many things that have been torn down. And I feel like it's already been investigated for that stuff. But... That house is about to get torn down very soon by the city, and I wanted to see it. That wraps up 2021's Urban Legends. I did several other videos about motorcycles and all kinds of different things, and so I didn't put out quite as much content with uh, legend tripping and uh, hauntings and things like that as I normally like to. Uh, next year is gonna be different. And like I said, when poison goes on the road, I'm going to all these places to check it out. I can't wait to come to your town. Let me know what the urban legend is in your town, and let's figure it out together. This is Ricky Rocket's Legend Tripping. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Hit the like button if you like this video. Check out some of my other videos, and maybe hit that bell so that you're notified when I upload more. Take care of each other, and keep rock alive. Happy New Year.